Mike, what makes this the greatest course you've ever done? <laughs> <laughs> This is the day. This is where. This is why you run all those miles. This is why you lift all those weights. Try to give yourself a chance. Just get to the final table. Are you good in cold weather? No. I don't think it dramatically affects my my game. I I'm used to not hitting the ball very far. It's going to be about 34 degrees when we tee off. You know, I think all three of us grew up in the Midwest. Huber allegedly grew up in the Midwest too, and he hasn't stopped bitching about the cold. Since well, that's that's kind of what I'm talking about. about. I am not a mutter. I'm not tough. I'm not really even that talented. So, no, this is not ideal for me. Who's your pick today? You gonna pick yourself? <laughs> no, I wouldn't pick myself. Who's your money on today? My money today is on Sally, for sure. So, tell me about your mindset heading into the final table. Uh, you know, I've been in this position before. Um, with a chance to chance to bring home a tour of sauce season. You know, a lot of people have won one. Can you win two? Yourself, you've won two of them. Uh, it's, a, it's a category that, you know, it's a one-person category. Uh, any strategy today? I think I'm gonna go back to my old putter, so I don't think I'll miss any putts, which is a strategy. You know, just picking my spots, I think. You know, I think that's what playing the number two with the hickories taught me, was when you see the green light, like, you gotta really take advantage. The words of Steve Winwood, why you see a chance? That's exactly. I don't know if I've looked forward to seeing a course as much as Tobacco Road, you know, for the first time. From everyone I've ever talked to, like uh, they love this place. I mean, it's it's bold, it's wild, but it, everyone walks away raving about it. I do like a lot of like banks and undulations and just different options to get the ball near the hole instead of like, hey, you have to fly it and land it in this tiny spot. Uh, how much do you think the blind shots are gonna play a factor here? Well, it's not really blind for Randy. It's not really, I'm kind of a bit of an unfair advantage. He can see over all the humps and bumps. <laughs> Let's go launch. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Let's launch them, boys. What do you know about Mike Strands? Not much. I know he's the Maverick. I know Neil looks weirdly like him. I mean... <laughs> It's inseparable. Can we get you some plans you can hold up out, out there in the field? <laughs> you guys have a horse you can ride around? <laughs> but it's, it's difficult to explain the golf course. It's kind of like almost like functional art, almost. The story is not as complex as a lot of people like to think. It was an old sand pit. Um, our family was in the road building business. After we finished digging the sand out, we decided to build a golf course in 1997. They started asking around and somebody told them about Mike. Mike was a great guy. I wish people could get to, would have gotten to know Mike, but he's even a better person than he was a golf course architect. He really cared a lot about the little guy. He knew everybody's name on the crew who was building the golf course. He knew. He knew them as well as he did the people who were you know, paying him for that matter. We wanted somebody who spent a lot of time on the project. And Mike's philosophy, he did one job at a time and he was here, you know, five days a week for over a year. When he was building this one, he was here. Every grass line that you see, the bunkers here, even some of these photographs I'm looking at in the room, at some point Mike painted those lines with the orange paint can. And if he, if he put a grass line down, and he went away for the weekend and one of the shapers you know, raced the line and they moved it eight inches, he would come back and go, that's not right. Hardworking, meticulous, perfectionist, and he had a vision and he was uncompromising in pursuit of his vision. So that's one thing I would like for everybody to know that they ever do play in one of Mike's golf courses. That it's, it's not by accident. It was a lot of effort and a lot of heart that went to every single one of them. 
the main road is still where it is now, the entrance in. So the first thing he actually saw was 13, what is now 13 green, but it was at the time just an empty test plot. And Mike saw it and he was like, this is a golf hole. I mean, that green was very natural. Uh, and when Mike showed us what he wanted to do, we said, Mike, are you sure about that? And he said, yes. He said, okay. And uh, it's one of the favorite features. A lot of people, it's their favorite shot, their favorite green on the golf course. How's this different from every other golf course? Well, the setting, the, 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 um, the natural, Characteristics of the piece of property, um, you know, being most of it being an old sand pit at one time with with uh, large gouges and, and uh, just massive areas where dirt's been removed for use in the you know the asphalt uh, product has just created some very unusual. Uh, distinctive characteristics that are truly unique to this site right here. I mean, that's what makes it that's what makes it different than anything else around here. The, the holes that you see out here, you know, Mike saw these in his mind, every one of them, and he sketched them out on just a sketch pad. There were no engineered drawings with elevations or anything like that. They were basically what he saw, and he gave those sketches to the shapers who put it on the ground. Mike designed a golf course that people hadn't seen before. There was no sand valleys. There were no stream songs. There were no banding or Pacific dunes and things of that nature. So people had no frame of reference to really judge with past experiences or anything of that nature. If somebody had gone overseas, sure they could they could relate. But you know, ninety percent of the American golf and public had never been overseas. So I just think that, that it's just so unique looking and different looking that that in itself is will tend to draw a lot of people. There was no demand for another, as we call it, fair yet challenging test for every level of golfer. There's just, there's 16,000 of those in America right now, and if that's what you're looking for, you can find that. But that, again, there's no identity there. You can't sell that. There's no nothing memorable or unique about that experience, and that's what we thought, uh, to be successful, uh, we needed to do. And it doesn't appeal to everyone, and I think Mike knew that, and I don't think he he wouldn't want to build something that appealed to everyone because then it's not that good. I don't care if people think my courses are too hard. I don't care. Well, I saw a twosome finishing up on 18, been several years ago, it was kind of a snapshot. You know, these two guys were finishing up and they're telling the score and I just overheard them. One guy was like, man, that was fantastic. This is the best place ever. And the other guy's like, I'm never coming back. Overall, it's just not really long, and, and, and that's really just the way we wanted to have it. It's just, as I said before, I think it brings people back together a little bit more on a more level playing field because length then doesn't become a factor. Mike intentionally wanted to visually intimidate you, so he put a lot of visuals out there that's like, uh, not real sure what's happening. But once you kind of narrow down, like, okay, this is what the hole actually is, there's lots of space. You got wide fairways, you've got backstops on greens, lots of little funnels that catch balls, run them down to a central point. Um, because that was the other part of Mike is he wanted it to be fun. He wanted you to go for it and be like, I totally can't believe I just pulled that off. For the guy who just wants to get around, play 18 holes, I think it's easy enough for him to do that. The guy who wants to really shoot a good score can can go for some big numbers trying to do that. And, and that's all right. I, I don't have any problem with that. I think that's the way the golf course is, is laid out and thought out, and that's the way we wanted to play. I think that um, from what I understand, because he didn't, obviously didn't come out and tell everybody about his health issues or anything, but from what I've understood that he started having some issues while he was still working here, like a sore in his mouth or something that wouldn't quite go away. Um, and it's extremely sad, you know, a lot of times people are recognized more when they're gone. Like most artists are recognized more, their mu music artists and stuff are appreciated more, you know, when they're they're gone. And um, it's been pretty sad, you know, you know, sad and we have, you know, there's moments out here and I know that it does sound kind of corny or cliche, but there have been moments out here since I knew Mike that I, would, I could kind of feel that he was out here. I knew how much he put into every golf course. Um, Mike did not mass produce golf course they were all one at a time and so that's that's kind of our story is it cold today or no it's not working how'd that one feel <laughs> oh 
All right, now hit one for real with your real swing. <laughs> Someone once told me a shoe always pays his debts. Did anybody hear Mr. TC, first one knocked out, sing the national anthem oh, yesterday oh at Piner's number two? That's a great point. Would you please, yes, please remove your hats. Anything okay. you want to say before? Uh, yeah, I'd like Mo Cheeks to, to give me the... Uh... I'm available. <laughs> Would you like me to play you the note? It'd be nice if you take your hat off as well. I think my, my head's going to freeze. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, what's so proud? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We're so gallantly, gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, <laughs> the bombs bursting in air, <laughs> gave proof through the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Woo! on the land of the free and the hope of the brave? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Play ball! I was doing the remix. <laughs> <laughs> sure was. Oh, God. Look at this guy. Tempo! I have no idea how this game is going to work out. We just kind of came up with it. We've been kind of, kind of tweaking it throughout the week. All right, let's flip tees. This is for the dealer. Randy, Randy is the dealer. So I'm the big blind. The dealer is me. me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I always follow Randy. Correct. For the first three holes, Annie in one dollar. You're DJ small blind for one dollar, and I'm big blind for two dollars. Okay. Shuffle up and deal. Play well. Hey, play hey, enjoy well. Enjoy yourself. Play well. Play well. Good hey, to be enjoy. here with yeah. you. Left dune. Place your bets. Place your bet. Hey, how findable are balls in that stuff? Best wishes. You You're folding? Uh, yeah. All right. Down. He's I folding. I'll, I'll call. Are you stroking here? Yeah. Did he? Did he? Uh, I'll check. Uh, yeah, look. You gotta call your action. Look, like you gotta say better check. You can't go see where your ball is. Oh, uh, I'll bet five. Right, this could be a bluff because I didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> all right. I didn't see it either. So I'll it call. Be. I'll play the hole with you. That'll be good. We're on it. Lady Nash. I think he got away with that. <laughs> Solid's third at number one. He's going to take this in from the left. Try to run it down in there. Oh, just a bit too much grab. Whoa. Good win. Feel good about yourself? Good bar. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Five to five, pal. Hey, thanks, bud. Ball. All right. All right. All right, we'll call. The ball. It's like a beauty. I will raise to six. The first raise of the day, folks. I mean, I gotta, I gotta w go to work here while you guys are not popping. Beauty. Ball, Randall. Call the six. Yeah, let's gamble. All right, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I'll check. Uh, I'll bet five. Ooh, he's trying to strong arm you, Randall. Oh, that's 
That's not good. But he's done it. He's adding to his pile. Clear. Played him. <laughs> heck of a season, boys. Heck of a heck of a season. It might be over after this one. I tell you what, it has to probably land pretty close to that hole because that is probably the toughest pin on the whole grain. Oh, it's a good line. Oh, ace cam. Oh, look at this. Sure. Good ball. In a lot of Mike's designs, the par fives are where he really gives people the options. There's always a risk reward. There's always an easy way to make par. So even if you hit a bad drive, you still have a multitude of options to still try to play the hole well. Oh, oh no! no! Line's going up to 2 4 here. We're going to keep the Annie's at 1. Good ball. That line right there. Let's pull this. Oh. Powerful. Oh, he has folded even though there's not been a bet made. All right. I'll bet 6. Call. Cool. This man is third on the fifth. He has missed it behind the tree. Five from you and eleven from you. Is there a sense of urgency building? Sure. I mean, yeah, but it seems seems like it's a matter of time. Five is the quintessential short par four risk reward. What's your favorite hole? <laughs> My favorite hole, number five. Not very long. Uh, from from the tee box, people would say it's a very easy hole, but I would say it's complex in so many ways. It's it's. It's actually drivable for the longer hitters. Sally is going for it. He has chunked the shit out of it. For somebody who uh, who is not as adventurous and wants a little less risk, wide open fairway to the right, but then it poses a longer, more difficult second shot in. Shot. Looks right. supremely sensible. Ten. He's bet 10. I can't see where yours is. That makes two of us. I'll call. Sit. Stop ball. Stop ball. Jeez. Great pot. Thank you. Good pot. Thank oh gosh, a whole lot of no blood there. No blood. Everybody gets their money back. What's the deal with the little wooden say anything out in the middle there? Yeah, that's one of the kind of the hidden features of the golf course. That's actually this area right here was uh used for one of the local sand companies and this is where they loaded their trucks and kind of the bulkhead they had a little uh -huh. loading deal devilish little sixth well, Sally's got 123 it's to the right just a bit cover it's putting barely oh boy be good Shot. Right so there. What are you doing? Call. Call. Ah. Whoa. Sick. Oh. Nice shot right there. He's out. 
That's long. He's mucked it. Oh. <laughs> Touch of all! Great pace. Oh, ow. Sick. That's a good putt. Ropes one. What blinds four eight? Four eight. DJ and I stroke. We'll call. Okay. Great ball. Great ball. I'm gonna push Randy all in. Whoa! We'll call that bet. Hell yeah! I'm, oh! I'm ten. Land it long right of this and suck it back. There it goes. Good shot. He's got 81 yards. So right at it. Oh, and it's just a little short. In the bunker. Got all the space behind it to you. It's like, it better have been a miss hit because if he was trying to go in in front of that pin, he's popping there too. Disaster. <sighs> Randy has to get this up and down. Here it goes. I don't know if that has a move. Go! Go! All right. Good three. Nice. Good client. Thank you. Best Thank of luck you. to your Thank future you. endeavors. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. DJ makes more three for twos than anyone that I know. Thank you. I don't think that that's a nice compliment. It was not. It was your uh, uh You know, I don't think I'm going to win any fans knocking Big Randy out of the game. You can win. You can win some fans back if you knock me out. <laughs> it's, it's a big relief being out. You don't like it. No. You don't like I the culture. No, I can just enjoy the course. You are stroking somehow on this part three that is hundred and sixty. Why? Mm, it could be a it could be a heady shot right there. Uh, I'll go five. Here comes Sally. Safe. Ooh, interesting. All right, I'll check. Interesting. Well played. But it just needs one. I'm just gonna muck it. I'm gonna fold. You know, you see what he's doing. You don't like seeing a, a whole muck to where you're getting a stroke, but I get it. I respect it. Not so far. I love it. I don't care if you guys think it's too hard. Don't care. <laughs> no. If DJ shoots 36 again on the back, I don't think I have much of a chance, but um, he has a chance to bleed me pretty good. He's stroking on 10, 13, 14, and 18. I think DJ, I think he might start thinking about the money a little bit. Great front nine. Thanks, man. Um, I think Solly's gonna come out on his back nine. He's, uh, it's very often he's gonna be too proud to fold, I think, especially when I'm stroking. 
think he gets a little nervous at times. And uh, listen, I've got, I've got, I've got out say, I got more experience playing high stakes golf. He's gonna try to bully me around. He, he fancies himself quite the poker player. He fancies himself quite the golfer, which of course he is. Once he starts seeing that finish line, I think, I think we'll see a little nerve come in. It is wipey, but it's, oh, he covers it. Uh, I will call and raise, what do I gotta raise, 20? You would have to make it at least 20. 20. Right, 20. Good ball. I'll play with you for 20. So 40 bucks in the pot? 40 in the pot as of now. Let's go see what happens up there. Strike. Good two. Thanks. Two Thanks. for one. Two for one. Yeah. yeah. Forty. Come. Okay. Let me get my putter out so he thinks it's a little longer putt than it is. He has to make it. Fold. Oh. That's a fold. I I'm three inches. I am. I am. <laughs> Way to make it official there. Thank you. I never say this. I kind of don't know how that one didn't go in. I don't know how it ends up that right there behind the hole. But. Uh, remember what I said? DJ Pi makes more three for twos than anybody I know. Thanks, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. not a thanks. That's, that's not, cool of you to say. Do man. not thank me. Thank you. You're a scumbag. Nice of you to recognize. You're that. even par. Eight Who shots. You're getting eight shots, and you're even par. Who could keep track of such things? All right, favorite hole so far. Ooh. Um, I liked uh, I liked the part the short part five that I eagled. Sick. It's an easy answer, uh -huh. easy answer, and that was a great caddy player like... handshake. <laughs> First bird on ten. The pro is not happy, and nor should he be. He's got to make those if he wants to remain a young hitter. Let's be honest. <laughs> We're not running a fucking cherry. Wide open there. <laughs> oh man, six. Mr. Huber for Eagle. He's done it. Classy, landed the big bird. Good stuff. I'll bet. I'll make it, I'll make it 20. Bunker. Uh, I'll play for 20. No strokes. No strokes. I'll bet 40. 40 is the bet. I think that's good, right? I thought it landed up there. He has called. He has called. Woo. So is that 120 in the pot? That's an additional pot. 40. Yeah. <laughs> That's 
tough one. It's a tough one to swallow. He's the small and I'm the big. No stroke here. And then he strokes the next two. Oh boy. Things are starting to move quickly. DJ is in for 20. It's always drive here on the 12th. Great swing. Thanks. Uh, I'll go 30 more. For a total of 50. Um, I will... I'll call that. Okay, we have a $100 pot. I'll check. Sully second at number 12. I'll go all in. All right, I'll call. Woo Here we go. This could be it. Sully has moved all in. I was hoping he'd fold. I don't think DJ has there. called. Here we go. I don't know if his is good or not. I think it's pretty good. I was hoping he thought maybe it wasn't that good. Somebody's really tight. He thought that maybe I knew something that he didn't. But if someone's really tight, that has me nervous because I don't think that it's me. Oh, Jesus. Are you tight? It might be Randy. Who are you? Jesus Christ, man. How many f***ing shots is this guy going to hit? Holy shit. You think that was that good? No, absolutely not. I knew there was a chance. I went to the book like six times. I knew there was, it was going to kind of funnel this way, but I didn't. I thought I pulled it. Oh my God. God. All right. Verde and the Tour Sauce Carolina Championship. His first career. Great putt, man. Oh, great play and great shot. <laughs> I had nothing I can say about that. That was sick. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank He's you. on the board. Hey, if I'm gonna lose to one under gross, that's just gonna happen. That's gonna happen. That's gonna that's happen. That's gonna happen. That's great plan. Thank you very much. What do you think? What's going through <laughs> your head right now? I know you've been through a lot. Just pure jubilation. You know, I, I came out, um, slept on a big, big lead for uh, about ten days after leg one. Uh, I can't, I can't say that that didn't have a bit of an effect. Coming in, laid a big fat egg on day one against you. That ro that rocked me a little bit. <laughs> that rattled me a little bit going and shooting 90 on the 5100 yard planters number three. Um, I've choked big time in pretty much every opportunity I've been given in uh, in a tour sauce. You know any kind of match that's mattered. And uh, so to come out and do what I did and have some tap in birds is very unexpected. <laughs> but uh, you know we, it feels good. I have to echo that sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know well, what are you gonna do with the money? Uh, you know I, I, I'm gonna invest some of it for sure. Yo, yo, what up? This is your man, Petey Pablo. DJ, what up? DJ, crazy, man. DJ said he came down to North Carolina and tore y'all ass up in golf. I don't know how true it is, because I wasn't there. I, I don't know what I'm going to buy. I'm, I'll know it when I see it. From DJ to me, to me to y'all, y'all got to step your game up. You know what I'm talking about? And, and hold on, what my man's name is? My man, Neil. Rhonda. Why Rhonda? Are Say these Petey Pablo names? Yeah, frequently. Rhonda? No, this is there's, there's no Ronda, there's Sharonda, there's no Ronda in pre. But either way, man, I love all y'all guys, man. And the next time y'all go play golf, man, why y'all holler at me, man? You know what I'm talking about? I play a little golf. I do a little, I play on the Wii. I don't play on for real, though. 
This your man, Petey Pablo. DJ, I fuck with you, man. Holla at you, man. About two, three, four minutes. You know how I do. Peace. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Of luck. Let's, go fin- oh, let's go finish let's this Let's go finish one. this Yeah, strong. thank you. Oh, great playing. Thanks. We were just saying how this course was maybe not as funky as we were thinking it was gonna be. And then you get to 16. I feel like a six iron, or it's not what it's not this, but I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> I hit six iron, you were Scott Driver. The big reveal. Do it! Fuck off! Do it! <laughs> God! I literally I, I didn't even touch that ball. This fifth. We'll get to try that one again. Will it stop? Folks, it will not. Oh. You can do it again if you want. Fuck off! Oh, that's definitely not there. One more time if you want. Oh, spin all the way off the hill. Oh, no. Really not much to this hole. Randy's got a little four-footer for birdie. <laughs> Don't even think about the balls. We just put it off the front. You'll yeah. just be looking to lag this one. Nope. Oh, got closer than you thought. Great bird. Thank you. Ain't off for the four star. No laying up, baby. No laying up. On brand. Oh my Good god. Job. One time. Down. Win. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! I've never felt like that. <laughs> Served before. <laughs> I thought it was gonna. I really that was that in. Was, oh my god. Oh, let's take another look at that one, folks. I really thought that was going like. That hit the lip. Oh, yeah. You know that weird feeling where you're like, yeah. oh, that's, yeah, that's. Yeah. yeah. Oh! It gets better on like every hole. Like from 11 to par 5 was amazing. 12 was pretty cool and then 13, 14, 15, 16 and now 17. It's just like crescendoing up. Yes. Nice. Huge. Some of the most fun I've ever had playing golf. Last hold trip. Last one. Been an absolute blast. Whoa. Heads up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Almost got me the back of the head. DJ has hit into the group in front of us. <laughs> All right, that leads us to believe that it does open up over there. When you win, they'll just they let you do anything. <laughs> Ringing bell, signals, fairway clear. Unreal. 
scumbags! Hell yeah. Last the trip right there, ladder now around Icarito. Player with the most talent, best player to never win a major. You know, depending depending on your perspective. How do you feel about that? Oh, like, really? like, right well, here. you know what I'm saying. You know who Randy <laughs> might be? He might be Ricky. Wow. Really popular player. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have it when the lights shine yeah. the brightest. This is a disgusting yes. thing. Dads, enjoyed it. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. Finish it with a bird. Finish the trip. Thanks, guys. That's not it. Oh, no. I chunked it. What the record show? Sir, guys, that was Congratulations awesome. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, bud. Awesome stuff. Thank, Thank you. Thank great you great playing for 12 thanks. holes. Thank yeah. you. Thank that you. Was, that was awesome. Hey, thanks, bud. Randy. Thank you. How about that place, oh. huh? That was a... Fun. That's about as fun as it gets, huh? No, I loved it. It was absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect variation for everything else we played in the area. It just feels like a really intimate, like a project that was like someone's passion. A little apparate golf. It's magnificent. There were times like on the back nine, that it had like a little bit of Enniscrown vibes. Tobacco Road is the American Cruden Bay. The closest I've come to seeing, of course, like Carn with like how natural and rugged it was. It's not, it's far from straightforward, but it's very doable. But you can definitely score out there. I mean, if you're hitting the ball well, it's a very scorable course. Thanks for building it. Thank you. Great yeah, job out welcome. there, man. And if you guys didn't like it. Huber, your first golf trip. You know, probably one of the most fun weeks I've ever had. Uh, every course was brand new for me. And I feel like I get to say that much because I feel like I get to play a lot of Pretty cool spots, but these were all pretty spectacular. DJ, I believe, uh, believe this spot is here. Thanks, man. Really, it's well organized. It actually has a little more organization there than you might that, think. Let me get but. that camera. What a, what a power move. <laughs> Thank you. You know what maybe the most impressive thing was? If I may? You didn't even... Didn't have to crack the original 100. <laughs> So. That's kind of sick. Do you guys do any kind of uh, champions dinner or anything before? Maybe we may have to start a new tradition. I would love to. I think that'd be great. Um, be cool. We can put our coats on, put our original penguin sport coats on, and uh, you know, we'll just go break some bread. It'd be a pleasure. All right, great.